Well, uh, I am just going to talk about basically what happened recently. I don't want to make, I just don't want stuff happening anymore. So hope, hopefully this is like the last time I have to like do streams like this. I really, really don't enjoy them. Um, I didn't want to make a statement or anything because I didn't want to read like comments or anything. I didn't want to get notifications. Um, but basically, um, I just want to start off by saying that I, uh, read our, you know, the, the Fed's quote unquote statement or the thing that got leaked. I, I actually read a rough draft of it, like about around, I want to say like October or so. So basically just like. A lot of people I, I didn't even get it from one person actually i got the first time i got it was from like a fed fan or something of the sort he sent me a dm and i saw the doc and uh i got pretty i was pretty like shook by it because it was just like oh no like not this again like please i just remember like i was pretty stressed about it um and not only that but the doc that I saw back then was not even the version that got leaked. Oh no. It was it was revised. Yeah. So <laughs> basically, uh the first doc that I saw, um, there were other things included and it also wasn't as long. I think I think this new one, I don't know how it's been twenty something pages. Um but uh back then i think the one i saw was only like maybe five pages i don't even remember but i basically saw the doc and uh i had someone like who was talking to both me and fed and uh i asked like or basically wanted to tell like how i felt about the situation and i just said like i don't want a I don't want this anymore. I don't want like stuff out anymore. I don't want drama anymore. Like, please don't like post it kind of thing. Uh, and yeah, it just, I didn't want to go through the whole thing again. It took me like months to start feeling better and starting to feel like in the groove of things after like the first statement came out. Um, it was pretty bad and like traumatizing because like, um, Uh, uh, just like so many people in the comments were pretty mean to like me and Lily, and I didn't want that to happen again. But, uh, so we had someone like in, sorry if I'm not explaining anything well. I'm like, I didn't write like a script, I'm just, I like wrote down like a little bits of points that I want to like clarify. So I might just be like emotional or like ranting or whatever. It's not very clear, so I apologize in advance. I'm not very good at like talking or speaking. Uh but uh yeah, I basically had someone who was like communicating between us and I said like kind of please like I don't wanna like go through this again and he just said I said like I don't wanna round too, like there's been too much like drama or like stuff in between and he just said basically that he has his own trauma now so I guess here we are because he didn't really care like what I wanted or what was good for us so uh yeah and I also agree that like I think he did want the document leaked because it's been revised and it's been sent out to other people multiple times. It's been like out to fans and out to things. It's like, why would you ever send a doc that you don't want to be leaked out to those people? I don't know. I don't believe it. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so. Yeah, after our first statement um, was released, Fed sent me like a really long message like apologizing and then he also said like he valued our friendship slash cared about me a lot and 
I genuinely don't feel that after this. Um, no matter what, I, I, I get that you're going to always have your own best interest in mind, so... Whatever, here we are. Uh, so I saw, like, a lot of people basically talking about how, like, shitting on Amon that she, like, knew about the situation months ago before, like, all this happened. And actually wasn't true. She didn't know the extent of it. Like, I remember I was in Tosa's room, and I was, like, talking to her. She kind of, like, was like, did something happen or, like, whatever, and... I didn't even have the heart to like um i didn't tell people back then all what happened really it was like it was hard for me to even like say the full story i could only like say a part of it um i just told her like a very very scuffed um like i just said like oh he just like but he was like really drunk and he just like kissed my hand and that was it and it was just nothing like i mean it sound like like it was just i was like m totally minimizing it totally trying to like make it seem like everything was fine and be okay you know so like um i don't nobody knew the full story actually except yeah there's just except for maybe like one or two people that i told who like didn't say anything out of respect for me because i didn't want to get out um so yeah, uh, I'd say that like nobody in OTV like really knew, um, except for the people that I asked who not to tell anyone. Um, but uh, yeah, it hurt really bad to see like people shitting on her for saying like she knew about this, she lied about it. She didn't lie about anything. She's just like, I was the one who didn't give her like the full story because I was scared. And uh also feels bad because after the dr k session she was like uh after dr k and i like refused to like say who it was and like everything and then amon came down after the session and like she hugged me and she like told me like she kept reiterating to me like you know this is this is like your decision this is something that you have like everything in your power to do if you want to like go public if you want to handle it privately like just do what's best for you and right by you like don't care about us don't care about like otv and just like um it just made me feel like for the first time that i had like a choice you know like i don't know why i, I like convinced myself or i had like a whole set um feeling that like i couldn't tell anyone and she was like such an important factor in like making me feel like some sort of freedom like um saying that they'll like support me in whatever i want to do and that was like everything that was everyone in otv and so it feels really bad to read like the awful things about her because she was like a, such a significant part in like what made me feel so much better after <laughs> um okay uh and i was still debating about making my own statement i wasn't i actually wasn't even i didn't even really want to like make a statement initially <laughs> Uh, initially Fed was gonna be the one who just, like, put out his statement that he did, like, X, Y, and Z, and that he was gonna be, like, leaving OTV or, like, taking a break or whatever it was, but, um, because we, we had some, I don't know what it was, maybe we were, like, too optimistic, but, like, after the intervention, we felt like, oh, maybe there's, like, a chance, like, for change and stuff, you know, and then he went to, like, uh janet like what iman said and like um went to other people and i had people come to me and say that when they first heard his perspective they felt like we were the ones who overreacted that we were the ones who like punished him like way harder than he deserved and like um like they felt like we were uh 
ostracizing him and everything. And just, he left out so much stuff. He didn't even tell them what happened between me and him. He didn't tell those people what happened between like him and Lily. And I could tell like the story was so one-sided and skewed. Um, he didn't tell them about all the manipulative things that he did or like how, he, I don't even, sure, maybe, I don't know if his intention was to be manipulative, but like all the rifts that he caused and like friendships and stuff. Um, so that's, that's, after hearing that, it just made me decide like, I have to post, I have to make a post. I have to like write my side so that like he, the people that he's telling, like, they can't have a skewed view of like just from his side you know that's why i wrote my thing and i decided like nobody pushed me to do it nobody like was trying to convince me like yeah you should make a post no like i was the one who wanted to do it because i was sick of like hearing all these people coming to us and being like yo what the hell like why are you guys doing this to him it's like what the fuck are you kidding me uh, okay um also, another thing, too, is, like, uh, I had people in my DMs, like, being, like, Iman was, like, look at all the stuff she said about you. Like, how could you still be friends with her? And, like, blah, blah. Like, oh, my God. I... <laughs> the concerns that she wrote in the text were legitimate concerns, by the way. She never, like, shit-talked me or anything like that. She literally, like, talked to me in person, like, about certain concerns or anything that she had, which was completely normal in, like, in, like, work or business. Like, ever, even I agreed with it. Like, we had so many managers in the past or, like, people who were employees that, like, they just became content creators. And then, like, we, we keep having to hire, like, new people to work for the company. And it's just, like... I don't know, I totally agreed with everything that she said. And it wasn't, like, um, anything bad either. Like, you know, she actually tried... She tried to work around me because she knew that, like, I did enjoy streaming. I did enjoy, like, doing content stuff. So, like, uh, she came into my room and we had a long talk. And um, she even suggested, like, you know, maybe we could get like a business manager and then they can handle like a lot of things you can still like stream and like do a lot of stuff and like that was great like she worked around like what i wanted and um she actually was the person who also gave me the green light to like the youtube and stuff i didn't have a channel before and she like was even giving me like suggestions on like what I could do back then I was like super into like possibly making more league videos and like she's like you know maybe you could do like ABC like tips and tricks and like all this kind of stuff and like I was I was too insecure to do that but like it, it was so nice that she was like encouraging of it um yeah but like all the concerns that she had she always like spoke with me about it and like we always tried to work something out so it was never something like when i saw the messages from the doc i was just like i i didn't care like it's stuff i already knew you know like we it was never like talking behind my back there was none of that like we sh we talked with each other and we like communicated a lot of the things with each other um so when the text messages made it look so much like she she was the one pinned against me it was so toxic like what do you mean and there's a lot of things that aren't just captured like in messages you know there's so many things he would go over to like he went over to leslie and peter's house and listed all these things of why he didn't want me there anymore that's not captured in the text but it fucking happened and he also had so many talks with everyone else in otv that wasn't in a fucking screenshot but it happened like, he's literally putting such a one-sided skewed story. This is, like, why I wanted to make my statement. Because he wanted to leave out so many things. He wanted to leave out a lot of things. And I was just like, hell no. Um, yeah. Uh, The thing I do appreciate was, like, I read 
um, some comments though these past couple of days where, uh, despite a lot of like the Pokemon and Fed stuff, a lot of people were still saying like, I do appreciate that they're, uh, they were saying like, don't let this kind of like take away from the fact or from what he did. And I appreciate that a lot. Um, it w would have been really sad if like, people forgot about that. And I feel really bad for Iman because she, like, I just like heard what she, like basically me and Lily were getting shit on a lot from the first name and people were all like, oh, don't worry, but you know, like you'll get, like you'll come back a changed man, like you'll be fine, like we still support you, blah, blah. And I was, whereas me and Lily were getting like so many awful comments, like I was getting death threats in my DMs and everything and like, fuck you, like you just, all he did was kiss your hand, like fuck off. And Iman was just trying to like help us and she gave people like a bigger side of the story and then fed saw that and he got mad and that's why he made this whole document like she got dragged into this because she was trying to help us like oh my god i'm just so and it's so shitty because she has this document about her quote-unquote lying and just personal relationships with fed yet everyone is like shitting on her so hard but like here's Someone who literally, I feel so uncomfortable saying, like, harassed me, lied, caused rifts in so many relationships, caused so many misleading scenarios between our friend group, and yet people are shitting on her. I can't. I cannot. And then, um, another thing was people were saying that, like, because... She's like my boss. I'm of course gonna be defending her or have no backbone, but it's like, I don't have to do this fucking stream. I could literally just like chill and just like not have to like address any of this, you know? Like, oh my God. <sighs> why do I care about it? Just like, why would I stay in a company or with this group if i if she didn't want me here if she hated me or anything that would never be the like why would i stay you can say anything but like it i mentally could not and i wouldn't be angry about this i'd just be cool she's exposed or whatever but that's opposite i felt angry i felt like she like everything was so misleading and i was so far from the truth like, he just showed such a one-sided fucking thing. Um, and not only that, but, like, me and Iman's relationship has been, like, a million times better ever since he left. We have never since, like, had any type of, like, discussion or, like, or, like, any... I, I feel not like... She checks up on me all the time when I'm making, like, sad tweets to see if I'm doing okay. Or, like, just randomly just, like, checks up on me. And it's, it's so good because before, like, me and Fed were, like, the closest people. Um, like, Iman and I were closest to Fed. He was, like, the main person that we were closest to in the house. And so whenever he had complaints about us to each other we would be heavily influenced by like what he would say because like the yeah his words just like weighed more and ever since he was out of the equation like it's actually been a like a, it's been great and i i am so thankful for that um any problems or anything like which we haven't even really had like we could just clearly go to each other about it and it'd be it's fine and yeah so i don't like about iman caring about whether I, I do content or not she literally like had so many people in the past who started as a manager and then became a content creator and like 
that that happened multiple times. It didn't just happen once. It happened like boom, 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 like so many times. And like she made an exception for me. Like she believed in like the type of person that I was, and she is like trying to make things work for us. So I don't want people to think that she's so like. She's not the way that people portray her to be, and she gets shit on a lot just because it's her, and it feels really unfair. Um, but, like, I'm not being manipulated or brainwashed. Like, I literally lived through this and, like, seen everything. So, like, I'm pretty sure I have a pretty good judgment of, like, what type of person she is. And it feels fucking bad all the really shitty comments um i can't remember what else i wanted to say but oh yeah just a small thing to add though we did go to vegas all together by the way we were all in the hotel room i think me and Mon and Lily all got there. Fed was out clubbing. And then he came back and like all three of us were in the room together. Yeah. It, the text messages for that part were completely misleading. <sighs> I never want to do this talk of stream ever again. Um. So... Uh, sorry that whole thing was probably all over the place and i probably stuttered a lot said like a lot do whatever but like i uh can't <laughs> but i just keep remembering like him saying that he was like really keen on changing i understand change doesn't happen like in a couple months even maybe not even like in years like I feel like it takes like a lot of time and effort but uh after this i really feel like this change isn't gonna happen in a year it seems there's like a lot more time and things to work on and yeah, any hope or any, like, positive feelings I might have had towards him still is all gone. Like, I don't, I will never be friends or talk to him ever again. Hopefully never have to talk to him again. But, um, yeah. I, uh, that, I think this was it. This was, like, kind of another breaking point where it's just, I won't be friends with him ever again. Yeah. Um. Hopefully. I don't even know if what I said helped. I hope it did. Uh, give like kind of a tiny bit more perspective or context to things. Uh. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I think. Did I miss anything? I'm probably. I hope I don't miss anything because I just. Uh. Uh, can't tell. Okay, well, that's it. And I don't have to do this. Okay, cool. All right, uh, thank you guys for watching um and maybe just hearing my side or pov that's just it uh i'm we're gonna be moving so i probably won't be streaming until like things are settled down and stuff and 
Yeah, I'll just come back whenever. But, um, also, if you guys care to, like, send OTV Sashimon, like, lots of love, because, like, they were the people who, significant people, like, if I had to think about significant people in my life, they were the ones who helped me, like, the most through everything, like, the hardest time ever, so, like, please don't shit on them, and that's it. Uh -huh.